Previously on Martini Mom and Devil Spawn. <gasps> Dick Cheney, what are you doing here? According to my sources at the CIA, there are weapons of mass destruction hidden in this apartment. Drink up, folks, cause every day can be your last. You must be mistaken, Dick. Rosemary doesn't have WMDs. Hell, she can't even afford cable. I have my orders. This is top secret government business. And you are all ordered to evacuate at once. <laughs> Step okay. away from the spawn, Dick. Yeah, you must think we're pretty gullible, huh? This is nothing but a recipe for yellow cake. Not a very good one, I might add. Who puts uranium in a confection? <sighs> Amateur. Why don't you tell us the real reason you're here? Fine, you got me, okay? It's not a top secret government operation. It's a matter of a more personal nature. Okay, so spit it out. What are you waiting for? Well, a musical accompaniment would be nice. Prima Donna Republicans and their obsession with girly show tunes. Fine! When a man trades blood for oil on other people's soil, that doesn't give a fuck. It's because I'm presumed that he cannot be quite human, and he hasn't got a heart. I'd be pro-choice and recycle, I'd ride my pink bicycle, and do my gay pride part. I'd support wedding homos, be as loving as bonobos, if I only had a heart. Picture me hugging a tree, the ozone in fine form. And real healthcare reform. And then I tweet, life's sweet. I would quit from Halliburton, their lies I'd be a blur. No more would I take part in the crimes and corruption and their utter world destruction if I only had a heart. That was wonderful. Martini? <laughs> but, Dick, I'm confused. What does this have to do with us? I could be saved. I could be a real boy with emotions and caring and... A conscience? Exactly. But first I need a heart, and a human one this time. Only after so many operations and other medical mutations, I'm afraid. There's only one heart left in the world. That's a suitable match. <laughs> you hate her to steal my baby's heart? Over my dead body. That can be arranged. <laughs> oh no! Everybody run! Dick Cheney's duck hunting again! <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. Yet. <laughs> we have a delicious array of unimaginable tortures all planned for him once he gets down to hell, but he keeps eluding death. Did he say boiled ham? I, I think he said oil scam. Is he confessing? Not oil scam. Oil can. He must mean this. Oh, of course, he's all rusted over. He's an old dinosaur after all. Aw, oh, poor thing. Here you go, Dick. More oil for what ails you? <clears throat> you... you helped me. Why would you do that? Well, we weren't just going to stand here and watch you suffer. Why not? Silly dick. This isn't Abu Ghraib. This is America, where we help each other. After all, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, right? And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the dick's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then the true meaning of freedom came through, and the dick found the conscience of ten dicks plus two. Gee, Dick, sorry about my face getting in the way of your shot. No, Harry. I'm sorry. Whoa. Really? 911? Dick Cheney just exploded in my living room. Would you send a bus? Wow, that was fast. Thanks! Uh-oh. 
Those don't look like paramedics to me. This never happened. Tune in next time when... How come this guy is so hell-bent on getting a heart anyway? Because he's a big old pussy, that's why. We just have to make sure it never happens. What about the spawn? Don't worry. The boss has big plans in store for it. <laughs> Holy right-wing conspiracy, Batman! Are we going to be dead by dawn or dead by spawn? Tune in next time to find out. Same bat time, same bat channel. Milky feeds on